Hello, my name is Sarah Lasoya. I am a student at the University of Texas at Dallas, and we're going to talk about the Cave of Crystals. Imagine a cave completely covered with beautiful white crystals that are big as a well and weigh up to 12 tons. Is this a science fiction story? No, in fact, a dreamy place like this does exist. The Cave of Crystals is a magical place that is located in northern Mexico in the state of Chihuahua and it was discovered by industrious Pensolas in the year 2000. When the company pumped out a lot of water out of the mine, it exposed some of the world's largest gypsum crystals. This amazed scientists all over the world, leaving them and us with many questions about this unique natural wonder, especially on how did these crystals get so big? Understanding how the Cave of Crystals form is motivating scientists to pack their bags and buy a ticket to the small mining town of Ninka to see it for themselves. But a visit to the Cave of Crystals is dangerous and uncomfortable because of its intense heat. The temperature inside is often hotter than 120 degrees Fahrenheit, with a relative humidity over 90%. Due to these harsh environment conditions, Humans are only able to stay in the cave for a few minutes, leaving research minimal. These crystals are made of a common mineral called gypsum, which is calcium sulfate, composed of calcium, sulfur, and oxygen. Most people are surrounded by gypsum daily because it makes the middle layer of wallboard, which is inside many houses and offices. But gypsum, as large as these, are completely unheard of. So how exactly did these crystals form? Special geological conditions must have formed these crystals. So today, we're going to learn some geology. The cave is situated a couple of miles above a hot body of molten rock, also known as magma. Rainwater has infiltrated along the faults and flowed as groundwater. Down the faults towards the magma body, the magma heated the groundwater and dissolved calcium and sulfur ions. The hot, mineral-rich water then rose back towards the surface and slowly cooled, precipitating gypsum crystals that grew larger and larger with time. This chemical process that made these giant gypsum crystals can be understood by making rock candy, which is a fun science experiment. First, you need to boil some water. Then, dissolve as much sugar as you can into that boiling water. After that, you will insert a wooden popsicle stick in between two other wooden popsicle sticks with a clothespin to keep it sturdy into the sugar-saturated solution, where new sugar crystals are ready to form, or also known as nucleate. Once that is done, you can put it aside to let it cool undisturbed. It might take a few days, the longer you wait, the bigger your crystals will form. Once they're done, they'll be a delicious treat. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Sarah, this is a really cool science experiment, but what does this have to do with the Cave of Crystals? I don't see the connection. The connection is that the Cave of Crystals is formed in a way that is very similar to making rock candy. The hot sugar water that is very similar to the hot water containing a lot of dissolved calcium and sulfur that rose up into the pool of water where the cave of crystals formed. The big gypsum crystal nucleated in the pool of cooling water and grew slowly, like the sugar crystals we just made. I hope you enjoyed this story and cool science experiment. Now go make some rock candy with a friend and even show them this video. Thank you for watching.